I like the music so far. It's almost like I'm playing Perfect Dark or something. Alright, so guys, this is exciting. I've never played this before. It's a mod for Portal... It's, it's a mod for Portal 2 that's listed basically as DLC or whatever you want to... Well, I think it's actually list, technically listed as a mod, as just a DLC. I think it's technically listed as a mod and that's it, but it it's like officially on the page as D, like DLC. It's weird. As opposed to like, you know, all the general workshop stuff anyway. Uh, uh, this is exciting. I've never played this before uh, at all. And it, there's very high praise in the reviews, which uh, some of them say like it, it's it's deals. It feels like it's an official Valve DLC, and some people are like, "This is the closest to Portal 3 we're ever gonna get," and a lot of praise there. And interestingly, uh, on top of that, when I go to HowLongToBeat.com, uh, this game actually is currently ranked as being longer than Portal 2. So, if we count this as a trilogy, then this is the longest Portal game. Interestingly enough, I'm curious. I've I don't know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> Hello. Alright. We immediately have five chapters laid out before us. I'll just start from the get-go. Oh, this is starting like a Valve game. <laughs> Trying to grab some credibility by making this thing happen at the beginning. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? So, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. The point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. This is bizarre. Okay, so, obviously the voice act- so they do have voice acting in this, and obviously they can't keep up with the original Cave Johnson. To be fair, it was- it was J.K. Simmons. I, I'm pretty sure he has Oscars now or something? <laughs> I don't know, he's been around for a long time and he's great. Uh, random indie voice actor, developer character is probably not going to keep up with that, unfortunately. Hello? Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re-record this. <clears throat> Alright, subtitles don't quite match the voice acting, but that's fine. You can kind of get- you can kind of accept the change in voice acting based on... Oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say you could say it's because they're different age, but... All those voice- all those voice recordings in Portal 2 were different ages, of course. Alright, so we're using a lot of Half-Life assets from Half-Life 2, from the character models to the gun turrets and things like that. That's interesting. I think, wait, well, maybe not the gun turrets. I couldn't see it up close. But this court sort of could act as a bridge between the two, and if this is the old times when Cave was still up and coming, then it makes sense that there'd be... It would be sort of a, ha a little bit of Half-Life or something. Actually, I guess not. We don't. I don't know how the timeline works out here. Hello. Alright, true to Portal, we're mixing blue and orange already. 
Superconductor test repulsion gel. Science spheres of science! Same three ones over here. All right, I'm curious. Also, minor thing. Just gonna pump this one up a bit. There we go. It's maybe even a slightly little too high, perhaps, but man, I felt like I was try like having to force the camera around because it was going so slowly. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, sorry. Make that three minutes. Aperture Cola. Ingest your own. Cool to three Kelvin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's impossibly cold, actually. Uh, you would die for touching it, probably. I think. I don't know. That's that's incredibly cold. Alright, so yeah, the comedy is not quite keeping up with Valve. No one else really can, though, can they? That's something special about Valve. So we'll just have to bear with that. I see. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. No. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna try to steal his, uh, his clipboard. Didn't quite work out. All right, up we go. Turret test, storage, 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 material research. All right, no, nothing, nothing to take note of there yet. Escape to the surface. Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. All these cars definitely fit. It's supposed to be old-timey. Hello. Yeah, this It's even got the old logo. Yeah, I believe that was the old Aperture Science logo. Yeah, you can see it back there. So we have the old logo, we have the old cars, everything's old Aperture... You have... You have a garden that has mushrooms in it? That's odd. That's strange. But yeah, because we're supposed to be way, way back. Because supposedly once you jump forward in time, maybe? Por uh, I don't know. I don't know if, like, Portal 1 syncs up with Half-Life timeline-wise and Portal 2 takes place way in the future or what. All I know is that uh, for a long time I had this fantasy in my head that one day, uh... That, that one day, uh, Valve was just gonna put out a product called 3, like it was just gonna be a product called 3, and it was gonna be Left 4 Dead 3, and Portal 3, and Half-Life 3, and just to be dick about it, also Half-Life 3 Episode 3, uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 3, just to make it more confusing. And like Team Fortress 3. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than, uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway. Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Or even if none of the other stuff happened, I kind of thought that maybe the big culmination is that after Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and Portal 2, the big next sequel would be Half-Life Portal 3, or Portal Half-Life 3. And that it would be a, a game where you play through a campaign with shooter stuff and you have a portal gun. I just figured that'd be the next thing for G for uh, Gordon to have, is to just run around with a uh, a portal gun instead of a gravity gun, or in addition to, and then just really re revolutionize and screw with worlds. So that's Carolyn. She got deleted. Ha ha. So is she gonna be the... Is she gonna be voice acting throughout here, I wonder? That can be a character we're encountering? Because we, we saw her get obliterated by Gladys last time we played. Hello. This is night art. Nice art. How does one get access to the, all these kinds of assets? Does, do they just know somebody who makes it? I wonder if this kind of stuff has to be cleared, or if, it, or, or if you could just jam art in anything like this because it's all free. So these doors don't work. All right. Anything noteworthy here? Science, technology, fashion, events, events, events. <laughs> Just generic news, just generic so, magazines. First, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. 
Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boy is chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously, those are stairs already, so get on that stupid elevator. They're close. They're, they're so close to nailing it. Like the... <laughs> Like that line of, like, I'm still working on my new stairs, and they're looking for a new job. Like, that's, that's, that's Gabe Johnson. But the part, like, seriously, get on that stupid elevator. Like, that's, that's not Gabe Johnson. They're trying. Hello? Negative one? What? Oh. Well, I'm not gonna know what that diagram said now. Well, actually, I, well, I will if it's still in the elevator. Didn't think that one through very, what, very, very much. Oh, weird. We loaded the- we had a loading screen, but we're still in the elevator. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No! There's too much space! You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air! Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the Your Fire stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my like... Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. There we go, that's... Now we're getting hints of, like, the pre-destruction versions of some of the structures we saw in the, uh, main game. Those weird spheres that were everywhere, and all the pipes, and the weird... and the, all the scaffolding everywhere. So, does... I wonder if this whole game takes place. I guess it would have to, huh? So the whole game's gonna take place down these salt mines with these... in this area that we, uh, encountered in the, uh, middle part of the main game of Portal 2. Expanding on what was otherwise just a short sort of side attraction. Offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I will say I'm definitely itching to just start playing, so let's... I'd like to get a move on there a little bit. This is actually kind of a distinctly not more... like, very Half-Life and not very Portal uh, beginning of a game. Because both the Half-Lifes kind of end with the, start with an extended tram ride of some kind, but... The Portal games, you pretty much just jump in and start playing. There was a, sort of an extended intro to Portal 2, but that one came with its own... The intro to Portal 2 kind of came with its own separate, uh... Like, kinetic thing going on, because Wheatley's talking to you and he's slamming things around and everything. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> that's 
six signs boys disappear at the They're firing blanks. Except for the whole part about how we they haven't been firing blanks in the past. Alright, cool, nailed it. So this is an acid pool, apparently. Wait, the testing spheres are under the acid pool? That seems terrifying. Is that is that water or acid over there? I have so many questions. Let's find out with our face. Hello. Alright. Didn't kill me yet. This is strange. These are so these are just not the types of assets you expect to see in a portal game. It's bizarre to see them in, in this context. Not really criticizing stuff, by the way, I'm just kind of remarking on things. I understand it's a mod. Look at that guy. Is that Kate Johnson? There's a face, huh? <laughs> I don't think that one was in the previous game. In the bathroom, there's the testing area. I'm gonna go up here. You can't tell me what to do except for the part where you literally already told me what to do with your with your mouth when you talked at me. Hello? Best new science company. Aperture Science. Layoff. Oh, layoffs anyone? Huh? <laughs> Hardly working. All these, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll see if they keep uh, running that joke into the ground, because they've, they've definitely been leaning really heavily on the Cave Johnson Fires People thing. Which, at a certain frequency, stops becoming humorous or shocking, necessarily. Did they put a pile of boxes in front of this so I wouldn't try to open it? <laughs> Pollen, animal dander, plastics, antimatter. Alright. I realized the hypocrisy. I was just talking about wanting to get started, and then uh, I put they give me a giant testing chamber sign, and I don't walk immediately into it. I do. Just, I instinctively want to just take over and explore. The moment somebody gives me an open area, I'm like, all right, well we have to look around, right? We don't have a choice, so I look around. I wonder if I'm gonna have those weird foot things, or if, I'm, or if this, the big twist is gonna be that this character dies from fall damage. That would mess with people, huh? Hello. Uh, that looks like a place to die. Where are your respirator? So it's a chamber for one of the liquid... One of the liquids. I guess they, they must they must load it up in there. How about you? That's where the workers all go. Look at these typewriters. They're all typewriters and corded phones. Welcome to the before times, everyone. It was a dark time. None of them could play Portal. I don't know how they got. I don't know how they managed to survive in that period of time. Portal so so incredibly, incredibly necessary. Here we go. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy airy lights, me. How about this one? Even that one, huh? So, Crazy Larry said that they weren't armed, but then they were armed, and somebody else had to take care of it. Crazy Larry's an abuser. Spirit of Idaho, potato science. More of those vaguely science-y, science fiction-y signs everywhere. Alright. Hello. This is different. Storage containers everywhere. Is that the relaxation unit? Oh, it almost looks like one of those, pla like one of those chambers that they were storing humans in. Oh, am I gonna jump forward in time? Am I, am I gonna be a guy from the past? You're hearing this message. You're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Was that her line of dialogue from the main game? I think it was. Oh, what if I do jump forward in time? What if that's what this is? Looks like we're female again. It's hard to pick out which gender you're gonna end up when, when, with when your uh, game's called Mel's Story. 